We're sitting ducks here. Huh? I'm aware. Damn! Where did these bastards come from? That's all of them. We're in the clear. Breathe deep, men, and prepare for the next wave. Let's go through this again. Hi, Entia, deploy your shields. Stop the advance on the gates. Anyone with a rifle, clean out small targets in range. Remember, all we're here to do is buy time. Eliminating all threats is not our mission. Make no mistake. Mom! Huh. Fog be sighted! Dwarves! They're all just... gone. What? But how? How are you? All well? Y yeah What the hell are you? Never you mind that. We've come to make a request. Time is of the essence. Go on. Would you return to Grandel? If you're asking like that, I assume you know why we left. Indeed. Then you must know. Why, that's not an option. What if I said, Grandel is besieged by fog beasts? Are you serious? I'm far too busy to come here just to lie. And the villagers? Are they safe? Yes. For the time being. But not for much longer. You don't seem all that surprised, Maxis. No. I didn't know. Just connecting the dots. If we were hit, then... Well, I trust I needn't spell it out for you. A veteran of the Guard. You need not. But it's not as simple as you make it out. I never said anything about simple. But you did ask. You forget yourself, Maxis. Do I now? What matters here is that the lives you have been guarding are once again in danger as we speak. Yes, but... You're free to have your reasons. But you need to find a way to accept reality and move forward in your life. <sighs> Maxis, we are the lucky ones. What do you mean? We can go home. That's nonsense. The Fog King has Alchemoth. Yes. But our home is right there, even if we cannot live in it now. But what of the other refugees? To them, home is gone. Even if they could leave, they have no certainty home still exists. But we... left them for dead. How could we possibly... It is never too late to make amends. As long as you live. 
After all, despite your quarrels, you are neighbors, family. Those bonds can withstand more than you think. Maxis, realize what you have. Do it before it's too late, or you'll regret. <coughs> Maxis, I'm going with these people. I can't turn my back on them. Maxis? <sighs> you're damn good. All right, honey. So you're with us? Truly. Yes. But it wasn't your fancy words that swayed me. My family needs me. Fine. As you wish. Like man painting Bon Bon. Real feather brain. Rat! No sign of Miss Maya yet? Not so far! Damn! Bunch of new hostiles closing in! I guess the lot from the Cape really left us for dead. Miss Tarea, it's all over. Please pull back! Not just yet! Stand firm! Believe in our brethren! Believe! In your new leader! But man! There's only so much you can do! When you see me fall, abandon this place and withdraw into Grand Dell! He kept us waiting. You big jerk. Lady Melia! She's back! And it looks like she brought the companions with her. Let's clear a path. Maxis, thank you. Ha! Huh. It's me who should be thanking you, Ransom. If you hadn't spoken out when you did, we couldn't be having this conversation. What are you talking about? If it weren't for your help, we'd all have kicked it ages ago. Miss Melly looking for Tyrael? She go back after healing. Cannot put up with this sentimental manure. What? <laughs> Sounds just like her. To a T. Lady Melia, I'm glad we trusted you. We owe you a debt for our lives. No. 
You have only each other to thank. Huh? Wait up, huh? Melia? Did he say Melia? Indeed. Surely not. You can't be the Melia Antiqua. Antiqua? Uh, yes. I do get called that sometimes. I... that... no. What? That means... your... your highness is the Crown Princess Melia. Do you need a minute, Maxis? Impudence. This girl is the true-born child of our late Emperor Saurian, the Imperial successor, Crown Princess Melia Antiqua. Is he telling the truth? It was not my intent to deceive. I thought if I announced myself, it could bring hope, but it could also bring despair. What our people need now is hope only. Hence the discretion. I'd appreciate if you treated me normally. Right. That is enough of that. Much work remains, after all. You mean slaying the Fog King? Lady Melia, we companions will form your honor guard. You won't. You companions will join Tyrea and guard Grandel from Fogbeast Incursion. But that's... Listen to me, Maxis. You feel you want to dispel the regrets of your brethren by your own hands. I understand well. But, for the sake of those fallen, you must protect the living. Don't you think that's the best way to use your talents right now? <sighs> the companion's strength, Grandel's knowledge, Tyrea's will. Without any one of those, the town would be lost. It's the only way. I understand. We accept. Trust us with the ramparts. Thank you. Truly. Lady Melia, take care. Absolutely. Maxis and his companions. They're counting on us, too. Yes. Let us perform the enhancements at Radsom's. May we, Radsom? Ah, oh, only too gladly, Miss Melia. It's ready. Ha! Huh? Huh? It's not changed much. Still same. Quite. Well, it was more of a tweak. I don't mind. If it lets us take down the Fog King. Hmm. Theoretically. Finally come time for denouement. These are Fog King numbers! Well, it is time. Please come back safe. But where? Beast will wait. Tilan, not to cause mischief in meantime, okay? So, you did it. Thanks to you and to Tilan. Strength and honor, friend. We will do our best. The Fog King is in the villa. You saw it? Yeah. But how will we get in there? I tried to enter several times, but the transporter refused to work. That's because it was set so that only I could activate it. Why? The villa was where I rescued Teelan from the Fog King's clutches before you came. I wanted to seal it off and trap the monster inside. Except... The transporters. They don't mean a damn thing to it. Still, it seemed better than nothing, so I put it on lockdown. Is that...? I use this for authentication. Take it. I have no need of it anymore. I see. We'll keep guard here, don't worry. Good. I shall count on it. Our race's future is in your hands. Got it?
All right. I won't let you down. Well, let's go. Hmm. Many god friends and friends of friends. That line of hero Ponkino! You brave few who venture forth, we salute you!